anything which has mass and occupy space is called matter all of you are familiar with this term this you have studied in the school level anything which has mass and occupy space is called matter it can be it can be books pen pencil all living things or either it can be non living things also so it comes under matter okay so matter requires a space and matter will have mass either it can be very small or very big it is not related or it is not proportional to the size or how much space it is occupying it is occupying a space and it has mass means it is called matter okay next we are talking it can exist in three states it can exist three states solid liquid gas there are three physical state now uh, you would have been studying about that ki there are five physical states now hmm? it is already discovered but uh, in your course we are studying three physical states so right now let us discuss first three physical states then uh, when time permits i will give you just uh, brief you about the remaining physical states also about both einstein condensate and uh, another physical state plasma okay so first we will talk about solid liquid and gas all of you are very much familiar how they are different from each other they are different from each other according to their particles if the particles arrangement is tightly packed it is comes under solid category if it is loosely packed it comes under liquid category if very loosely packed gaseous category like that the different categories are there and the particles will have some kind of force of attraction how they are attracting to each other they are bonded to each other so force of attraction is bonding them close to each other so solids will have a strong force of attraction inter particle force of attraction is very strong so any solid object for example chair will be there at your home or table will be there it has some definite geometrical shape why it has that shape because of the strong force of attraction among the particles and particles are attracted and attached to uh, with each other and giving a geometrical shape to that article okay so solids will have definite shape and definite volume liquids will have definite volume volume we can measure in different like uh, for example you are familiar with milk milk is you are having milk it is coming at home every day so 1 liter milk 2 liter milk half liter what is that liter liter is the measurement for uh, any liquids to measure the liquid we are using that unit as liter it can be milliliter also the smaller units are milliliter higher units are liter very higher units are cubic meter like this so there are different units where volume can be measured okay so volume the liquids are arranged in a loosely pack arrangements and when they are loosely pack arrangements the force of attraction between the particles comparative to solid is very less and that is why liquid can flow liquid can flow it does not have definite shape why because it can take a shape of any container whichever container you are putting that liquid it will take the shape of the container it has definite volume but no definite shape and it has weak force of attraction between the particle comparatively lesser than the solid hmm? and the particles are called loosely packed because of that if you put a glass of water on a floor what is your observation your observation will be the glass of water will start moving whichever side there is a slope on the floor correct why it starts moving because the particles are loosely packed it has a characteristic called fluidity they can flow because of the more interparticle space between them same thing with gaseous state also the third state is gaseous state gaseous state the particles are very lightweight the density is very very less and as that's why you can observe suppose in a closed room uh, i am opening a cylinder of nitrogen what is the observation like a uh, uh, table chair or this pen i am holding this is a solid i can hold it in a hand like that can we hold a molecule in our hand no we cannot gaseous molecule i am talking we cannot hold as we open the cylinder the gaseous molecule will try to go uh, uh, as up it can go as well as if windows and doors are open it will try to acquire that space also so it will take the shape of the any container or surroundings it does not have no definite shape no definite volume for gaseous state okay and the particle 
between two particles the force of attraction is very very large okay the force of attraction is very very large because of that the particles will be always flying hmm? next we are talking here the physical